Hey, it's Conan here. I'm your local coach. I want to talk to you about the 10 most important things you can do to increase value in your life. Reverse engineer your days. Plan. Start your day with a cold shower in the morning. Train at least three times per week. Meditate. Set some goals. Ask yourself why. Eat based on your goals. Increase your range of perception and reach out. So that's the quick version. If you're happy with that and that all makes sense, go ahead and turn this off and apply it right now. If you want a little bit more info, here we go. Reverse engineering your days means that you aim for a feeling that you want through the day and then look at how do I get that feeling and then turn it around and make those choices based on that feeling. You have a shower in the morning because you want to feel clean, awake. Nothing else is going to make you feel clean, that's why you shower. So you made that choice so easy because you've reversed engineered. If you do that with everything else in your life, you'll find complete clarity, way less struggle, procrastination and frustration. This ties in obviously with planning. Prior planning prevents piss poor performance permanently. We've all heard the cliche, if you fail to plan, plan fail. You should know already the night before what the next day is gonna look like, so there's no surprises. You should know on Sunday what your whole week should look like so that you can plan ahead. If you don't plan, you run behind, the, the day runs you, and you start getting frustrated with people, with situations, and the only one you're actually frustrated with are you, is yourself. So don't self-sabotage, simply plan ahead. <laughs> Training has tremendous physiological, biological benefits. None of us actually like to train. I don't even like to train. I like the feeling I get from training. If pizza and hamburgers and sitting watching TV would make me feel like I am now, give me the body I have right now, then I wouldn't train. I only train because of the feeling it gives me. So understand that if you want to feel better, training is imperative in that scenario. I suggest training three times a week. Meditation. It's impossible to not think about anything, but it is possible to slow the mind down. So if you feel like you're spending a lot of time up here and it's, it's, it's taking energy away from your day, then all you need to do is slow it down. Maybe a 10 minute level meditation. There's some very good apps for this purpose. You can look it up on YouTube. All you need to just do is slow it down. Start your day with a cold shower. Jump in the shower, you can clean yourself in a, in a hot shower and then finish off with 30 second cold shower and do it a minute the next day, then do it two minutes the next week. The physiological and biological benefits of cold showers are incredible. You can look it up, just Google it. To the degree that you're willing to get uncomfortable is the same degree you're gonna evolve and feel incredibly much better. Set some goals. Classic, very simple acronym, SMART goals. Be specific, be measurable, attainable, reachable, time-based. If you tick all those five points off, you've got a SMART goal. SMART goals are much simpler to achieve because you have those five ingredients in the goal. With anything, ask yourself why. If you dwell a little bit deeper into why you're doing things or why you're not doing things, you'll get absolute clarity. Why do you have a shower in the morning? to feel a certain way that's why your showers your choice is so simple you do it every day without even questioning same thing with brushing your teeth having a coffee eating going to work everything that you do you've already figured out why you're doing it so if you're feeling frustrated or you're procrastinating about something you probably just haven't asked yourself why eat based on your goals even if you're training three times a week there's another 165 hours a week that you might be screwing up it could be your sleep, it could be the things you do, it could be what you eat. So if you're not where you wanna be emotionally, physically, mentally, financially, what is it that's stopping you? Are you eating the right food to get that clarity of mind? Or are you eating to just fill yourself up and then beat yourself up because of how you're feeling or you're putting weight on, you're not feeling healthy, you're not there energetically? Pick foods that are based on your goals. Increasing your range of perception comes down to if you're frustrated with people or if you're angry with people understand that you just haven't seen their point of view it could be your boss your kid your brother your family your parents your partner your kids your kids your kids 
your kids, if you feel like there's an incongruency with the way you should be feeling for these people or the way you could be feeling for these people for the, for the most amount of benefit for everyone, then you just haven't seen their perception. You're just looking at it from your own set of eyes based on your own values to serve your own ego. And it's very easy to point fingers and be upset with people rather than understanding where they come from. Finally, and most importantly, reach out. If you feel like some of these points piss you off, or if some of these points make complete sense, or if you just can't seem to find any way to make that happen, then just reach out. I'm your coach Coco, I'm here for you. This is what I do for a living. I coach people to be the best version of themselves. I coach people to get over their bullshit and to leave their heavy, heavy, heavy baggage behind. Because we don't need to carry that baggage. There's a reason we check it in. All these points more or less tie into one another. And that's the beauty. If you change one thing, it will just ripple effect and affect everything. Just do it step by step. Pick one thing that you want to change today or this week and do that. Once you're creating a habit out of that, you go on to the next point. As always, I'm always here for you. All you have to do is reach out.